A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to the Vlogathon 5.0. And now what I'm going to talk about for today's part is in fact going to be specifically about the many times that I have crossed paths with people old and new. Not just in terms of age, but also with how long I've known them for. Relationships, as you probably already know, in terms of my life, have been rather abundant. I not only speak of the many people that I have managed to make friends with in more recent times, mostly because of the growing popularity of my content online, but also with the many people that I've known before then. Since my graduation in high school came up in 2018, there's definitely been a thousand things that I will, in fact, be talking about. But I'll just mention a few things in particular. One being that there have been lots of good memories that I managed to share with friends of all sorts. For example, a time where I managed to bond with a few good people in the cafeteria of the high school itself. We talked a bit about a supposed sacred civilization living underneath the continent of Europe. Linstopians, they apparently were known as. Types of people that apparently had their own distinct language and had their own sort of underground lifestyle. Much like how some people would do with the underground subway system in New York. So, that of course is more or less just a myth that they made up, a sort of fantasy world they have fabricated themselves. But the thing is, is that the memories of that are just so impressive to ever live with. And just to know the fact that this was at a time before all of the more recent, undeniably bad stuff happened, this was just what I'm referring to. The last hurrah of my life. The very last hurrah. The year of 2018. It pretty much just goes to show that there wasn't really much that I could have expected after that. 2019, not much better by any means. 2020, had some nice stuff around there, but I really just wish that there wasn't so much horrible stuff coming around. And 2021 doesn't even deserve nothing. It absolutely does not deserve nothing from me or anybody at all for how awful it was. 2022, however, sure does surpass the likes of the many of which, but just to know the fact that we're going to live with such bad memories, burdens for the rest of our lives, I really cannot imagine what our futures would be like going forward. Is 2023 going to have some sort of effect on us for the rest of our lives? Is 2024 going to have some sort of horrible event that'll scar us for life? Nobody really knows for sure. But I do know one thing. My friends, old and new, in terms of how long I've known them, not just with school, but also outside of school, with work and other such things, there probably is a lot that I would have to say about the new friends in particular. The ones that I have made across all my jobs since 2016. That time period alone, I managed to have myself some good connections built like the Cataldo family, for instance. Three kids bound in there. Summer, Noah, and Skylar. Definitely have spoken with them quite often at that time. Then afterwards, with other jobs that I've gotten over the years, there's definitely been changes that I never would have figured were present. But yet, we're at a moment now where we can definitely learn to accept our fate our destiny, our stories that unfold for our grandchildren to hear. But I do feel someday we might just encounter something that might actually turn out to be even worse than the likes of anything else that we had ever comprehended in the history of our lives. I don't ultimately see that happening though, not for a while. So that is pretty much what we need to know. Socialization charisma are right here in the back of our minds and we do know how to be a pimp to some females and such an attraction 
for males to see. But all in all, I do feel like that when time comes and goes, things happen, debts show up, changes in our life just begin to show for either the good or the bad in our lives. We do have the people we need to support us emotionally, mentally, and physically to ensure that we don't go falling down the well. And maybe we can always find those that have been waiting in the wings for decades now and are more than worth waiting for. At times like these, nobody really knows what could ever possibly happen, but I'm sure going to suggest that if you do have your self-connections, please call the numbers that you have on your contacts list. I've got my contacts right on here. And with that in mind, thank you for watching this segment of the Vlogathon 5.0. And I'll see y'all next time.